Um, General Petraeus, in his new role, has a very difficult situation now in the center of the situation in Benghazi. Do you have any comment? Well, um, just to create some context for those in the room, um, as you know, the uh, ambassador in Benghazi was killed along with a couple of, um, of security agents who happened to be CIA uh, security paramilitary forces. That, that just came out today in, in Fox News. But um, the challenge has been the fog of war. And the greater challenge is that it's political hunting season, and so this whole thing has been turned into a very political sort of uh, arena, if you will. Um, but the facts that came out today were that the ground forces there at the CIA annex, which is different from the consulate, were requesting reinforcements. They were, they were requesting the, it's called the Sinks and Extremist, Extremist Force, a group of Delta Force operators are very, most talented guys we have in the military. They could, have, they could have come and reinforced the consulate and the CIA annex that were under attack. Now, I don't know if a lot of you have heard this, but the CIA annex had actually um, had taken a couple of Libyan militia members prisoner, and, and they think that the attack on the consulate was an effort to try to get these prisoners back, so that, that's still being vetted. The challenging thing for General Petraeus is that in his new position, he's not allowed to communicate with the press. So he's known all of this. They had correspondence with um, the CIA station chief in, in Libya, uh, within 24 hours, they kind of knew what was happening. But if you remember at the time, the, the Muslim video, uh, the Muhammad video that came out, the demonstrations that were going on in Cairo, there were demonstrations in 22 other countries around the world, tens of thousands of people. And our government was very concerned that this was going to become a nightmare for us. So you can understand if you put yourself in his shoes or... Secretary Clinton's shoes or the president's shoes that we thought it was tied somehow to the demonstrations in Cairo. Uh, 